Hi everyone, welcome to another video by Optionables. My name is Saket and in this video we are going to review the trades taken in the month of July. So we are going to do some sort of analysis using the Excel which we have filled in and we are also going to go to the back office CRP&L from the broker report. I'll also be attaching the PDF file in the description below so you can directly download that and also do your own analysis. So I hope you like this particular video and if you're liking the content as a whole then please do hit the like button, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining guys. Hi, welcome to another video by Optionables and in this video we are going to review the performance of July 2021. So we are going to open the Excel and we are also going to do some analysis as in what was our profitability ratio and what was our risk to reward. We are also going to go to back office and verify if what we recorded in Excel was accurate. And apart from that, before starting off with this, we are also going to review the trades taken on 30th. So 30th was pretty a uh, simple day. The market consolidated throughout the day except for the last hour spike up and profit booking. So what we did was we had taken some short straddles and the market was consolidating the whole day. And when the spike up started to happen, we just booked everything. And again, we re-entered straddles. And again, when the market started to come down, we again booked everything. So due to the regular booking of profits, we were actually able to end with a profit of 99,500. So now we'll be quickly filling this in Excel and then we'll be moving on to back office and try to see if what we record in Excel is actually accurate or not. So I'll be quickly opening the Excel. So 30th of July, we had a profit of 99,500 and we'll be paying 17,500 as brokerage and charges. So that comes up to 82,000, which means overall this month, we have a net positive of 17 lakh and 21 lakh in intraday trades cross profit as well as 17 lakh in net profit. So which is well over our target of 5%. We have done fairly well. So we have done actually 5.69% compared to our target of 5%. And overall capital we are using for this trade is 3 crores. So before we actually come and do the analysis of this trade, first we are going to go to the back office and then we are going to check for the reports. So I have logged into first talk right over here. So here if we go to web links, right? And if we click on reports, we'll be taken to the back office. So you can see here optionables fintech LLP. So there you have to go to the reports. Then I'm going to go to PNL report. So we are looking from 1st of July till 31st of July. So we are looking at FNO trades. And when I click on submit, we are going to get a consolidated report right over here. So you can see that we have a total profit of 22 lakh. 2000 and we have paid 4,29,000 in brokerage. This also includes profit or loss from positional trades as well as profit and loss from futures. So futures, we had a loss overall loss this time, but uh, positional trades actually did well. Futures and positional trades have sort of canceled out each other and we are left with only the intraday trades. So you can see that uh, intraday trades, what we have recorded in the Excel is quite accurate. So this figure is pretty accurate because we record every day's P and L as it is, right? And you can see even in terms of brokerage, we are not far apart. So the total charges or brokerage, whatever we have assumed here has turned out to be quite exact. So 4,29,000 is the total charges what we have paid and uh, 4,29,150 is actual charges what we have paid and 4,30,000 is what we have noted down in our Excel. So which technically shows that the approximation of this brokerage is actually correct. So we actually end up approximately paying so much. But obviously this also includes charges for future trades as well as positional trades. But that's fine because overall we are much in line with what we expected. Apart from that, if you look at the brokerage charges here, we have just paid 29,000 in brokerage. Turnover charges STT plus GST put together itself is around 4 lakh and we have just paid 29,000 rupees in brokerage. So these charges are something which can't be avoided. Brokerage of 29,000 is quite decent. 
so these turnover charges are something which we can try to avoid by trading little less but if you are making good profits i think it's okay to pay higher turnover charges as well right so now we'll come to the analysis part before which i'm going to apply a filter right over here So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort out everything by ascending to descending order. So you can see that now everything is sorted in ascending to descending order, right? So now what we are going to do is we are going to count the total number of profit and loss making days. As you can see right over here, I have just filled in all the details and you can see the total number of trading days we had this month is 21. That is from here till here. I have used a simple count function and totally we have 21 trading days out of which eight days are loss making so you can see here these eight days are loss making where we had continuous losses and we have only 13 days where we have made profit a net profit so our profit probability is just 61 percent or our accuracy if you want to term it other way is just 61 percent and you can see that with 61 percent we are doing quite well so when people come and ask, they want 80% accuracy call, 90% accuracy call. If I tell you, you can earn around 21 lakh with only 60% accuracy call, isn't it great? So this is what you try to focus on. So this probability number alone or accuracy number alone is not going to make much of a difference. What actually going to make a difference is this number along with your risk to reward. So you can see here, I have just taken an average of all the loss making days we have. And I have also taken an average of all the profit making days we have. So again, I have used the simple average function of this by simple average function of all the profitable days. So you can see here, when we lose, we are actually just losing around 70,000. But our average profit is somewhere close to 1,75,000. So this is what actually has made a huge difference. Whenever we are winning or whenever we are making profits, on an average, we are making 1,74,000. And when we are losing, we are just losing 70,000. So this is where, again, it comes down to risk management and why risk management is so important. So in spite of having such a low probability of 61%, if you can cut down your losses small, so that is what we have done here. We have tried to cut down our losses to less than 70,000 and this actually has helped us gain a lot because our average profits are much more higher than average losses. So it is almost two and a half times higher than average losses. So now we are just going to compare this performance to the month of June. So you can see in June performance, we had a very good probability, a 75% probability. And here our probability has decreased to 61%. So you can see that right over here. And you can also see the average profit and average loss. Last time also we had done pretty well to hold our losses just to around 60 to 70K. So even this time we have done that pretty well where we have just cut down our losses to 60 to 70K. So where the difference has been made is in the profitability. So average profit last time was just around 82,000. But this time we had two good days where one day we made around 6,5,000 and other day we made around 6,60,000. So these two days have actually helped us quite a lot. So just assuming that I remove these two days from the account still we would be actually profitable even if I remove the two most profit making days even then we would be profitable even then our average profit would be much higher than our average losses. So this is what is most important because in spite of removing the two most important days we are still doing pretty well. And this is also one more reason why having your trades on Excel actually helps you because you can make this analysis and you can also focus on what better you can be doing. So last two months were really good. We achieved 5% last month. Last month we were able to achieve 5.2%. This month we were able to achieve 5.6%. So this is net returns after all the brokerage. So gross returns are much higher. You can see here we had achieved 21 lakh. And here we had achieved a gross return of 15 lakh. So we are doing quite well with that aspect. But uh, the thing is 5% on a consistent basis is little hard to achieve. So last two months were good. So that's the reason we were able to achieve. Otherwise, a reasonable expectation would be around 3%. So 
to be a profitable trader all you need is proper position sizing proper risk management and don't worry about profits because if you can cut down your losses you will obviously be profitable in the longer run because you have a statistical advantage so this is what i wanted to tell you and i hope you have liked this particular video as well as the analysis part so just open excel jot down all your trades as well as the brokerage and see what is your net p and l and how much are you actually losing when you lose or how much are you making when you make because it will help you become better as a trader when you know what exactly is happening to your trades so next time you can maybe try to cut your losses smaller so when you are making profit you will anyways end up making profit so this is one thing which i wanted to tell and which is a very important thing so now we'll just check our net p and l it shows 17 lakh 7000 right over here and here we have 17 lakh 73000 so remaining 73000 has come from either futures or positional option trades most likely positional option trades because futures if i am not wrong we were at a net loss this month right so what i'll be doing is you can actually analyze these trades in detail later on so i'll just download the pdf file of this particular entire uh, pnl report and i'll be attaching this in the description below so i will upload this in the google drive and i'll be attaching the link to this in the description below so you can download and you can analyze from this as well so i hope you guys have liked this particular trade review monthly trade review and we'll be doing this every month so we only get a better understanding of where exactly we stand if something goes wrong also we'll also get to know where we went wrong and where we can improve so i also urge you to maintain your own trading journal as well as trading log because that will help you later on as a trader to know what exactly is happening to your trade so i hope you guys have liked this video if yes then please do hit the like button share as well as subscribe and you can also follow us on other social media platforms using the link in the description below thank you so much for joining guys see you soon